back in 2013, I was driving down the road and saw a, a man who was obviously homeless. And I just looked in my rearview mirror and went, turn around, go ask him why. And that really launched the nonprofit. And it was because I stopped and said, how come you're homeless? How can I help? I'm Kara Hollowell. I'm the CEO of Switchpoint. What I love the most about the work that Carol and Switchpoint do, it's the holistic approach. It's what she does has a direct impact on people's lives, probably more direct than any organization I can think of when you consider uh, the shelter that they provide, the food that they provide, uh, the mental health counseling that they provide, and the job training that they provide. This is real direct impact that makes a difference on thousands of people's lives. My relationship with Carol started six years ago. I had friends, their donors and volunteers, that said, Linda, you got to meet Carol. And the remarkable things that have happened in the last six years. I'm in awe every single day. Here in Salt Lake, we were able to convert two hotels off of North Temple into deeply affordable housing for seniors and veterans. In Davis County right now, we're working on a center for teens. We just closed last week on a project in Mill Creek, which will serve up to 42 women that are suffering from mental illness and homelessness. We just finished our amazing project in Tooele County that is on a 10-acre campus that is an emergency shelter, a soup kitchen, a food pantry, 66 units of permanent supportive housing, and a 24-7 child care center. I can't stop thinking about how do we solve homelessness. It doesn't seem unrealistic to me that we can solve this problem. It just takes a lot of people and community coming to the table together to do that. I think she builds community like no one I've ever known, and she does it by engaging everyone around her, everyone involved. No organization can do it all by themselves. And, and when you finally can realize that as a whole, then we start working together instead of competitively. You need someone who doesn't take no for an answer, who always sees opportunity in the face of really specific and dire challenges and has a passion for serving this population. Carol provides a hub for community needs where she brings together the collective voice of the state, developers, property, the community, and funders. One of the projects we funded with Carol was 24-7 daycare in St. George. She kind of brought all the pieces of the community together. It was like, here's a need, here's how to address it, here's the role Switchpoint will play, here's what the community foundation can do, this is the partnership we can create, this is the funding model that would support this work, and this is how we can move forward together. And of course our clients, they love to, as they're stable and steady, they come back and they're serving the dinner time meals or they're serving in the soup kitchen or they're volunteering in our food pantry. I think one of the most important things that we do is we believe in them and we show that encouragement and belief and love until they finally start to believe in themselves. This gentleman, he said, I've never had so much kindness shown to me, especially from people that don't even know me. And he said those words, they loved me and they believed in me. And now I believe in myself. That's, that's like one of thousands of stories that we, we get to, to hear. Carol has a huge heart. She will see you. She sees the person beyond their circumstance. And she knows that she can help. We build communities in every housing development we're doing. We're building communities within the shelters we're doing, in the overflows or in the micro shelters. There has to be a community. We have to create tribes for people to succeed and to thrive. And so when you have a title of a community builder, oh man, amen, that means it's, act it's actually working. And I think that that's what most of us want, right, in our life. And we just gotta give them a shot.